Margaret from Go Taller Bollywood. <laughs> we're here on Pardaisy and we're going to discuss, we can't pronounce it, but <laughs> Barely Ki Barfi. Pardaisi. <laughs> ये कहां मिलेंगे आपने आने में कुछ साल देरी कर दी ये नहीं रहे मतलब इस शहर में नहीं रहे सिर्फ तुम ही जानते हो ने द स्वीट 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 फिल्म दैट वी जस्ट सॉ विद आयुषमान खुराना कृति सानन एंड राजकुमार राव हु वाज द मेन रीजन व्हाई आई वेंट टू सी दिस फिल्म टुनाइट बिकॉज़ he does so many serious <laughs> films and it's so fun to see him in a comedy and oh my god he was the most delightful thing about this whole movie he was a delight <laughs> he was amazing and they clearly wanted to it was a very difficult role so they clearly said well we're going to have to get a really good actor cuz he yeah. has to go through all of these character transformations and so on actually it reminded me a lot of his performance in queen cuz there was a yes. similar sort of you yes. watched him go through several years which i remember him doing a lot of interviews about when queen was coming out how yeah. it was an interesting role for him because he had to go through all of these stages which is yeah. the same thing here actually part of the reason i was excited was because of kriti sonam i may be the only person in the world who's excited about her but i love okay, rapta and she was really good in it and she's she good in it she was good in rapta okay like i don't love her <laughs> what was it mahesh babu one where what she gas no like dine. okay she gas lighted him in there and maybe that's just my residual like <laughs> what are you doing to my mahesh um i don't know she seemed kind of bland in other roles yeah. but from the very first moments of this film she had more personality than I think she's ever had in any other movie yes. and I loved what personality yes. she had. She was Yes. She was crying because she felt she was unmarriageable because she was the kind of girl that liked to go out at night and have fun yeah. and get up yeah. on the dance yeah. floor at a wedding yeah. and yeah. smoke cigarettes behind yeah. a car and whatever. Yeah. And she I mean they show the scene of a groom coming and he asks her, "Are you a virgin?" and you see the look in her eyes and you think she is a virgin but she's saying she's not just because she's so pissed that this guy yes. asked her yes and he's and she's like well are you yes. and he says well it doesn't matter if i am what <laughs> matters if you are and then she's that's when you could just see this resolve in her face like yeah i'm not a virgin what are you going to do about it um, and I just love, okay, I just have a thing, I use this word all the time, but I love spunky characters. <laughs> I love spunky heroines, and that's what she was. Mm -hmm. And then she's at the depths of feeling, and then she reads this book, which is the title of the movie, is the title of the book that she picks up at the train station. And she falls in love with the book because it's about the girl in the book is just like she is. She's like, they mm -hmm. wrote it about me! <laughs> and she has to find the author. Well, there's a little picture on the back. And there's this whole backstory. I think it was in the trailers. We're not yeah, spoiling that's, it. So that's actually one of the things that I found really fascinating. There's traditionally the trailer tells you almost the entire plot of a movie. Right. Which is something they've sort of been avoiding lately in promoting films. They've been going sort for more sort of a western, ooh, you don't know what's gonna happen. In this movie, no, it's the exact plot you saw in the trailer, except for the last twenty minutes. Very traditional. You know the first two thirds, and then there's a final twist which is gonna be a surprise on the audience. Which means we're going in to see the movie not because we're like, Oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, Oh, I can't wait for the twist but because we're actually interested in the plot of the film that yeah. they've sold us in the trailers and this was exactly what was sold by the trailers it's a sweet love story with a, some complications but very grounded in its location yeah. very interesting roles did you look up the director at all before I did not what do you what did you look up so well first her husband directed Dangle <laughs> which is what? So okay, first of all, there's a woman director <laughs> yes! And her husband directed Dangle. I just I'm picturing their household this year. She's got this tiny little movie and he's got this huge movie. But um she directed Neil Battery's Sonata, which or Neil Battery's Sonata, which I still haven't seen, but it was the sort no. of sleeper hit last year. And it's about the relationship between a mother and a daughter. No romance, no anything. Very small film, no big names. 
so, so this sort of feels like in between that. Like, so it's is a this step her only up. her second film? It is. And oh my god! And it's like what? a step up from that. So it's not huge names, but like we've heard no, of these people, yeah. and it's a fairly large release. It's not some little sleeper hit. And of course, her husband made. Her husband has a similar sort of career trajectory until this year when he suddenly laid go. like. Oh my god! A million this is only ahead. Her second film. Okay, so the she key- did well, and then that's the other thing. I dug deep into Wikipedia. Yeah. She started in advertising, like most of these female directors in India okay. tend to do, because it's a more open industry and because ad films are so exciting. So she has all of this experience in advertising. Was very successful in advertising then did a short film which won a bunch of awards then then did this sleeper hit and has now jumped to this movie yeah. so she's gone advertising art mainstream but she probably yeah i mean but she has the visual eye from the advertising yeah, exactly so she knows how to use a camera and all of that for right. the advertising stuff right and to how it tell us i mean because there were yeah. so many stories that were told by the visual yes yes wow Okay, yeah. and I know it's a female <laughs> director. I love it even more yeah. now. Yeah. But the, the key thing was the script. Mm-hmm. Because there's several Hindi movies that we've seen that have felt like they went into this and they didn't even know how they were going to end it. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And this was based on a novel. It says yeah. at the beginning credits. Yeah. And I think that was so key in how clever it was and how yes. it was a puzzle piece that fit together yes. we're not going to spoil it yes <laughs> if you go to margaret's blog she writes a spoiler <laughs> review and then she writes a full of yes, spoilers review. but again you know the first two thirds of the movie from the trailer they weren't right. tricking you right. in the trailer yeah. that is I mean, actually what you happens know, are you sure <laughs> plays an author who doesn't even want his his picture on the book because he doesn't want the ex-girlfriend mm-hmm. to know that he wrote the book about her right so he gets this friend who is this nebbish <laughs> raj kumar was a nebbish and gets him to agree to put the picture on and have mm-hmm. his name on the book. On the book. Well, then when Critty's character falls in love with the book and she has to meet the author or write him a letter, he finds a guy. What you know? I mean, it's almost like a Cyrano de Bergerac kind of yes. thing where she's writing the letters yes. and he, yes. you know, Yushman is actually responding. And then it comes to a crisis point where yeah. she wants to meet the guy. Yeah. And he, I mean, all the scenes of them. Trying tr- to train Rajmore Rao well, to be the, tough. That was, oh my the, God. that was the other thing I found because it was so grounded in the location, which I'm wondering. Hugely successful here, by the way. We saw it opening night, and the theater was close to sold out. And there's been a lot of these smaller rom coms that have had varying yeah. degrees of success. But this one was, I think, the one that was most grounded in the location. It was sort of like Ban Bajabarat or another one of those. They aren't going for the All India hit. They aren't going for the NRI hit. They're going for this is an incredibly specific character type that they're yeah. trying to turn Rajkumar Rao into, and that's part of the humor oh, that you can recognize God. what it's supposed to be. I mean, because be. he's played. He's played that asshole character. Yes. He was that asshole in Queen. He exactly. was that asshole in so many other movies. <laughs> and that's what's so delicious about it is he's this nebbish. Yes. He's like with this soft little <laughs> squeaky voice. And then he's like try, he's like trying to be like Amitab. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. I mean, he was so funny. He was delightful. And I mean, Ayushima, though, I whispered to you in the middle of the film. There's no, I don't know that there's anyone, I'm not saying he's the best actor ever, mm-hmm. but no one shows falling in love on his face like a yes. Yushman does. Yes. He just yes. has that, I'm just melting, yes. you know, this girl <laughs> kind of face. And I love that. And it was so sweet. But yet, you know, like some of his other characters, I mean, at one point his, his friend says, you're a villain. <laughs> it was kind of a funny line, but it was kind of true because he was being, we're not going to spoil yeah. it, but again, he was being selfish in his actions and yeah. not thinking about yeah. how it yeah. could all cr- come yeah. crashing down yeah. for the people that he's pulled into his scheme. Yes. And, you know, he really has, you know, kind of a come to Jesus moment yes. later in the film. And but just the way it all came together at the end, I was crying. Yeah. I mean, it was so... Funny, it was, it but was, it was so sweet. It was definitely just, a movie oh. where at the end of it, the overall message is this is a community. People care about each other. Family loves each other. Everyone accepts each other, which yes. was just so nice. There's no real villains in the overall no, messages. Everything no. works how out every, for every, the best. And, and Critty has agency, you know, instead of yes. everything just happening to her. In the end, she had agency. And yeah. I think that was partly of what made me just start tearing up. Yeah. That it was just so beautiful yeah. the way that they ended it. Yeah. And again, it comes back to a great script. 
yeah. a really great yep. script, yep. which so many of these rom-coms, well, not just rom-coms, a lot of these Hindi films, mm -hmm. I've just kind of mm -hmm. like, did you know where you were going when you started mm -hmm. filming? Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> but this one really did. Like, yep. Running Shadi is another one that we saw earlier yeah. this year, another rom-com <laughs> with Amit Saad yeah. that was fa yeah. fabulous. Yep. And, yep. you know, it's these little films that are kind of coming mm -hmm. under the radar mm -hmm. that are really, you know, because you, you had a uh, post, you were talking about kind of the, the problems with the Hindi box yes. office this year. You know, the theater owners yes. have counted on these huge tentpole yes. films, yes. like a Shah Rukh Khan film, yes. and Tube Light, a Song yes. Khan film yes. for Eid, and they've all been super disappointing. Yes. That's, I was thinking this movie is really benefiting from Joe Perry Met Sagel. Because yes. it's fulfilling. If that movie had actually played the way it was expected to play, this movie would be playing like um, Running Shoddy did, which came out against uh, the Gazi attack and then something else the weekend right. before that was really big that I don't remember. So no one saw it. But this movie, there's nothing else to watch. And you kind of recognize the names and you've seen the trailers, so you might as well stop by. I'm actually really excited the next month we've got a series of movies like this modest stars modest right. budgets modest everything and i'm hoping people will actually come out and see them since there's no other options well i'm you know i'm i'm telling everybody this is the one to see because uh -huh. this was um i mean i saw the toilet movie this week yeah. it was okay uh -huh. it was okay i mean it had the message and whatever but this was really delightful yeah. this yeah. one i can heartily recommend yes. and say yes. Go see yes. this film. And you yes. don't have to be a huge fan of a Yushaman <laughs> or whatever. Yes. I mean, it's just, it's the story itself that is so delightful. Yes. And Raj Kumar is, oh my God, he's a genius. <laughs> you know, I mean, he does such serious, I can't even, uh, you know, like trapped, I couldn't even <laughs> bring myself, like, oh my God, he does these such intense movies, you know? Yeah. And I'm sure this was such a break for him to be able to do a yes. crazy rom-com. Yes. yes. And, and just play this dual character mm -hmm. and have so much mm -hmm. fun with it. Oh, my God. It makes me want... I still haven't seen his other rom-com, uh, Dali Ki Dulhan or Dulhan Ki Dali, yeah, whichever one it you is. You mentioned that, and now I've got to seek it out yes. because, oh, yes. my God. And it's a similar... It's Sonam Kapoor, who's the lead of it, so yeah. he's not the lead. It's an actress-based film. But I assume there's a <laughs> because it's a rom-com and he's the hero he is the hero in that he okay. is well he's on the poster sonam and he are on the poster which okay. just sort of tells you well then they're going to end up they together would, in the you end. know what they would be kind of a cute couple yeah together. okay yeah like i mean <laughs> the problem with raj kumar is like i mean like he's excellent but he he's in films like oligar you know like these <laughs> serious intense things now i enjoy those too but wow the kid yeah. the guy has comedic chops yeah. and yeah. I don't know, he's kind of in that netherworld. If he was in yeah. Hollywood, he'd be getting everything. You know what I mean? Because yeah. he's just, he has all these yep. different talents, and he can do so many different things. But the problem is, in Bollywood, I don't know, he's never quite kind of gotten that yeah. I'm, he's the hero. or I'm yes. not even sure he wanted it, you know? Yeah, because it's... I mean, Ayushman does a fabulous job with this role, but it is kind of the same role that he's played in yeah. the last six movies, which right. has got to be getting boring. Well, and he, I was just thinking, there was a while that we didn't see him. Mm -hmm. I mean, I love Dumb Laga K. Yeah. but then there was kind of a lag. Yeah. And now it seems like there's three million of his yeah. movies coming out. Yeah. Because I just saw one a couple <laughs> months ago. And now he's got the erectile yeah. dysfunction yeah. one coming out. Yeah. I don't even remember the title well, of that well, one. Well, it's because of Dumb Laga K. I'm sure. So that yeah. came out and it was a hit, and then he got all of these other offers. But there's a lag while you're actually filming all the movies you've now been offered yeah. before they actually start coming out i guess i mean you're right but it's just kind of funny how they're just stacked yeah. up this year yeah yeah and um i think he had decent chemistry with critty there are there's one kind of um dance number at a celebration mm -hmm. that's, for once it's not a wedding song yeah, yeah. But, but it was super fun yeah uh, but not like any traditional kind and of I, dance they, numbers yeah and they and cut some, it they cut them short i noticed we had three songs I want to say maybe four songs but all of them I'm sure the album version is about three times as long as what we actually saw and heard in the movie yeah but I mean really fun music uh, -huh. uh 
and I mean, I've heard that one, the one song from the the celebration yeah, song. Yeah. I have heard in the seven, <laughs> top yes. 15 for quite a while. So, you know, but so fun music, but it's not the, there's a couple of yeah. montage kind yeah. of uh, yeah. songs. Yeah. It's not the centerpiece of the film to have mm-hmm. the music. It's just a nice add on, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But wow, I hope this woman director, I hope this film does fabulously well. <laughs> I hope she gets tons of more scripts. Yes. Because this woman knows, like, you need a script to make yeah. a good movie. And it, yeah. And, yeah. and for once, I mean, while this rom-com was centered in certain things that are key <laughs> to the whole marriage yeah. uh, march yeah. kind of yeah. thing in India. Yeah. yeah. In another way... It could have been set in America. It was mm-hmm. more of a universal mm-hmm. story, too, don't you think? And yeah. that's what... Yeah. I think it, it can appeal to anybody. It doesn't have to... It's not so specific about, like... Well, you just said the Wajayish. Yes. Because it's not, like, about dowry yeah. or anything yeah. Uh, yeah. like that, you know? But... And, I, you know, and it's just... Hollywood doesn't make these movies anymore. <laughs> that's why I come to the Indian theater. That's why I yeah. see these films. Yeah. Because... Oh, the good rom com. Yeah. I've got to watch an Indian film. Yeah. That's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah. And this yeah. this was so entertaining and I cried <laughs> and I laughed my ass off. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Agree a hundred percent. All right. If you want to see more uh reviews of films, hopefully some more with Margaret. <laughs> There's some new Malayalam films. Oh, and I'm coming, so Malayalam <laughs> films we're gonna be meeting. But anyway, so if you want to uh, subscribe to Pardaisy, click the subscribe button so you can see more trailer reactions, reviews of films of all different genres, Hindi, Malayalam, Telugu, and Tamil. And also please follow me on Twitter at Pardaisy YT. And you can find Margaret at don'tcallitbollywood.com. She writes copiously. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> she reviews all the, also all different languages of films. We have Monday Malayalam, Tuesday Telugu or Tamil, mm-hmm. and so forth. So <laughs> definitely check out her blog. And I know she will be doing extensive, re- probably two reviews of this. <laughs> yes. So check those for this weekend.